right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, just about Ladies ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buck. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 238 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Pistol! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. It seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful strike. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Now connects with a right. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. 
And both guys really throwing with authority. He is all about that left kick to the body. Massive knee to the body land. And they separate. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice strike. Fantastic timing on that beautiful kick. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice combination of kicks there by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nice head kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And back to his feet. Oh, single collar tie here. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Here he is back in the clinch. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Another straight left. Oh, knee to the head. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time. Getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the Thai clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Lands the right hand. Kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Good jab. That one's not good. Nice strike. Oh, collar tie. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to hold. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Oh, big punch land.
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Liver kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Boy, tie club. Powerful leg kick lands. And they separate. Oh, and he caught the kick. Changes his what stance. What a takedown. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop the strike. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Found a home for that knee. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. And they separate. Big head kick. Lands with a right hand. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job. Good stick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Real quick leg kick. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage if you can hit him in the body that clean. Oh, big left hand there. Over and over, digging to the body. All right, pretty good series of knees by him there, so mixing up the striking really well in this fight tonight. Fantastic fighter, but when he added these to his game, he became even better. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. It's such a fast leg kick. And there comes the separation now. There's no give on that leg kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Went for the inside leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they clinch once again. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Big that knee, knee lands there. That knee hurts. Shot to the body is blocked. Throws the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Real nice body kick lands. Man, he keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Certainly buckled him earlier in the fight. He knows he's hurt there. Oftentimes, it takes just one to get his opponent down to the canvas. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. 
Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect when you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. All right, single collar tie now. Left hand punch with the clinch. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Not caught that kick there. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Big body kick. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Some nice back and forth action here. Man, look at him load up on that right. Oh! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain the finish could come at any time. Knee to the body. Nice punch, man. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. On a single collar tie there. He's, he's limping up. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And now he engages in a more. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. The target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Got the single collar tie. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Big head kick land. Single collar tie now. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Lee. Just out of range with that left hook. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Ooh, what a punch. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees as the elbows come now. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Ooh, what a head kick. Right there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Oh, that's a nice try. there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's income. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Whoa! Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. What a round. 
up. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Pretty significant welt to the left side. How good is that right hand? Look at the force behind that leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Inside leg kick lands and immediately a mark on his opponent. And they separate. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Nice one-two there. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Right hand punches the clinch. Ooh, now he's got the tie from Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Ooh, what a punch. Circling towards the left now. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes much size. This guy today is looking at focus bench in his opponent. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in color. Single collar tie here. Nice punch land over the top. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Oh, that right hand is on point. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Checked a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Back and forth we go. Just over two minutes to go. Straight punch lands. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh my goodness, what a performance. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near-perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop for this contest at three minutes, 25 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee!
So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knocking. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.